Hey guys, welcome back. So I got a tutorial for y'all today and it's on this look right here. This is the look that I was wearing in a Friday Favorites when I talked about this palette. This is the Juvia's Place, the Saharan palette. And a lot of you guys asked for a tutorial on this look, so I filmed it for you today. I'm gonna be doing some other tutorials, get ready with me's with um, my other Juvia's Place palettes. So those will be coming, but I wanted to film this one first for you guys. So yeah, this is the look that we're gonna be doing. If you wanna see how to get it, then just keep watching. So I'm gonna start off with some eye primer. Today I'm using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. Now I'm gonna use Wet n Wild's Brulee all over my lids. I really don't feel like these shadows need like a base first. I feel like they blend really well, um, but I just like the seamless look of doing this. I don't do it every day, but I usually like my eye looks better if I do. So now I'm gonna take my Saharan palette and I'm gonna get some of Ketsina on a Cosette D220 brush. And I'm gonna apply this into my crease and transition area. Now I'm gonna get a small flat concealer brush and get some of Wadabe on that. And I'm gonna apply this on kind of like the, I don't know, inner half of my lids. So you can see that this is just beautiful and intense even with a brush, but I am gonna go back in with my finger and apply just a little bit more because that just kicks it up even more. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. Now I'm gonna take a tiny crease brush, this is from CVS, and I'm gonna get a combo of these two right here and use these in my outer corner just to deepen that up and give some dimension. The black color really goes a long way, so kind of get some of that and then I mix it more with that brown to kind of help diffuse it. I'm going back in with that crease shade and just doing a little bit more blending. And I'm gonna dab just a little bit more of Wadabi on just to really keep that super intense. Now for my lower lash line, I'm gonna apply some of this Laura Geller Eye Care Waterproof Eyeliner in Cafe Mocha. And I'm gonna go over the top of that with a little bit of Barrero on the outer half of my lower lash line. And for the inner half, I'm gonna use some of Wadabi again. And I'm using my Sedona Lace EB21 brush for this. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes and then apply some winged liner. I'm using my Jessie's Girl Liquid Eyeliner. I'm gonna curl my lashes first because I always mess up my liner when I do my liner and then I curl my lashes. So I'm gonna curl my lashes and then do my liner. Then for mascara, I'm gonna use my IT Cosmetics Superhero and my IT Cosmetics Tight Line. Okay, so here is the finished eye look. So I've already applied foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer, obviously brows. So I'm gonna move on to blush. I'll list everything else down below. So for blush, I'm gonna use these two. These are both from Beauty Junkies. This one is Russet Rose and that one is Infinity. And I'm just using my MAC angled brush. I'm just doing a little like combo of the two of these. They're just really pretty neutrally blushes, but really pigmented. So probably want to tap off your brush, which I did not do, but they blend really nicely. So makes them easy to use. Then for highlighter, I'm going to take a little combo of these two. This is Pow and this is Pink Parfait. Just do a little combo of those and apply that to my cheekbones. So pretty. And I'm going to take that same little highlighter combo and put just a little bit on the inner corners of my eyes just for a little bit of added brightness. Then for lips, I'm gonna use Jordana's Easy Liner for lips in Rock and Rose and line my lips and fill them in with this, what is this called? NYX Pinup Pout Lipstick and this is in Silk. So 
whenever I have this kind of situation where I have a darker liner and a much lighter lip color, I will kind of like go back and forth, like apply the liner, apply the lipstick, and then just kind of like do some blending together, like go, I should just tell you instead of just talking while I'm trying to do it. Then I'll go back in and kind of do some like blending with the actual liner. Alright guys, so that's a finished looking tutorial. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what kind of looks do you like to do with a Saharan palette. I would love to know that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!